Mama's chaos lately. Absolute chaos. I tend to be getting in my own, own head a lot lately. Our children trigger us and that's okay. We're human. It's just crazy to think guys that this business was in my garage five years ago. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're well. It's good to see you. What have you been up to? I talked to you like you're actually going to respond to me. But anyway, disclaimer. Yes, I am in the pajamas again. I told you these pajamas are life. I wash them. I'm a clean person. I'm just, I literally am just obsessed with them. It actually reminds me when I was from the ages of 12 to 14, I lived in this Hedwig shirt and I love Harry Potter. You know, Hedwig the owl. Anyway, I lived in this green, lime green Hedwig t-shirt. My nan literally had to pry it out of my hands to wash it. Again, I was clean, like it wasn't bad, I was young, but she had to like literally rip it out of my hands to wash it because I was so obsessed with it. I wore the shit out of it until one day, my brother Addy, cause you know he's got autism, he doesn't like tags on things and he's really strong and he thought he was doing me a solid and he um, ripped the shirt because there was a tag on the inside and a bit of like background. Growing up, I had to put, we had to put locks on all the doors. So like I had to put a lock on my bedroom door. Everything had to be locked, even the fridge cause he would just eat everything and he one day broke into my room, which I swear he used to always break in. And then I used to get blamed for not locking my door. Anyway, he yeah, ripped it up and it was, a, it was a sad day. It was a really sad day. Rip Hedwig shirt. I nearly broke another camera. My life's chaos lately, absolute chaos. Today, very exciting day. I am going on a podcast, which is really exciting. I haven't been on a podcast for a little while. I used to do them like every week, but it's just been a bit nuts, really. We're heading up to Sydney, if you guys don't know. We live about two hours away from Sydney. I've got to give you guys a bit of an update on both of the girls I do suspect has ADHD, like yours truly. One of them, we have been having quite a bit of issues with as of late, and it's like, it's really affecting her as well. Like she gets really upset with us. She has these episodes and like really intense outbursts and um, it is really sad to see. And it's one of those things. And as a mom, you feel shit when you also get triggered by it because it's very, and I think this is something no one talks about. Like our children trigger us and that's okay. We're human. I have a PTSD with screaming. Um, anytime, anytime someone screams, my body just goes into full like, nearly panic, pretty much panic attack mode. And um, it is really hard to kind of work through that. I am I am seeing a new psychologist now, which is really good. I've been trying to find a new one for ages and we've got some really amazing things lined up to try and help me through that PTSD as well. So that will be fantastic. Anyway, so took her in to the pediatrician and she was diagnosed with ADHD and I wasn't 100% sure on the medication route because especially with her, she, at school, you would not even know it. Like she was very different to me at school when I was diagnosed, it was so blatantly obvious because I couldn't pay attention. Like literally could not pay attention to anything. But with her, she is very much a perfectionist like yours truly. It's not the attention part, but it's the, the impulsivity, the outbursts, the hyperactivity as well, which I, um, as you guys know, females typically, not, I'm not being stereotypical, it's just like, facts. Females stereotypically don't show the hyperactivity component. It's in our brain, but with her, it is very much physical hyperactivity as well. So basically what we've decided to do, and that's just also because for her, it is affecting her as well, even though it's not affecting her schoolwork per se, it is affecting her, her mental health. So we are going to, like she started a non-stimulant ADHD medication. Obviously a disclaimer, I'm not a doctor, and I'm not saying if you're child has any of these things or has ADHD that they have to stop medication. I just chuck that in there because you know. Anyway, she's been on it for about a week now and it basically just helps the impulsivity and like helps kind of help her with that regulation of her emotions as well. And I have seen an improvement, which is really, really, it's like really nice to see. And I am glad I did, like didn't have to put it on stimulant medication because that's what I'm on. If you guys missed it, I actually did a whole podcast a few weeks ago on my ADHD medication journey. And I'm very, very honest about it. So I'll give you guys the link below to that podcast if that's something you guys want to listen to. It is really life-changing and I really do feel like it's already helped her immensely. So I'll keep you guys updated with that as well. All right, let's get cracking. Do you know how many times I've nearly flushed the neighbors? So our bedroom like faces the street and I, that literally goes out into the street. So I have to always close the blind. And then sometimes I'll like come out of the shower if I shower in this one and I have to like bolt. So if you're a neighbor, I'm really sorry. All right, so I'm gonna wear jeans today. These are Petal and Pup, love them. And then I'm trying to toss up between, this is like a sweater top from Billy J I love, and it's like one off the shoulder. Or this one is from Edge, which they gifted me the other week, so thank you Edge. And I really like these too, but I also don't know how hard it is. And then the other option is this Petal and Pup top. And it's like a little vest. So there's this one as well. Anyway, figure it out. I love this, but I think it's gonna be too hot today. So I think I'm gonna end up just wearing this singlet. It's like a little cropped trench coat. And then of course a belt. 
A sweat belt's just a finishing outfit. Never ever used to wear belts until this year. It just makes everything look, I don't know, more polished, I guess. When I bought this top from Edge, it was, um, the lady told me it's like a Skims dupe. I've never had Skims before, I've never bought it. But it is really good and it washes really well. It's kind of like a silky material. All right, what do we think of this? I feel like that's pretty good. And then I'm just finishing them off with these little teardrop earrings. This is from Diva. All right, let's go. I had to film some stuff for some brands and that, so I just spent most of the car ride just editing that. Um, so at least that's kind of half done. I tend to be getting in my own, my own head a lot lately, and I think it's because, because I haven't been like putting, like doing events and doing podcasts and things like that. I get in my head a little bit and feel like I don't have any like value to offer, you know? I'm gonna be pretty hard on myself like that and I do tend to even like say no to a lot of opportunities now because I, I don't know, I feel like I'm become a bit of a hermit. I guess I just wanted to share that like, no matter what you do and whatever like level or achievements you get to, everyone still suffers with imposter syndrome and it doesn't matter what job you have, how successful you are, you're still gonna have doubts and you're still just human. I still remember when I just started and I had like started being asked to go on podcasts and things like that and I was so nervous and I had a lot of imposter syndrome back then but I feel like it's kind of gotten worse and I feel like the more my platforms grow the more I get it because it's kind of hard when essentially your job is also like what we do online your job is essentially being yourself if you're still working on your self-worth and things like that it's kind of hard to understand i don't know i just thought i wanted, wanted to let you guys know that because all of us will be scrolling you know instagram tiktok and we see all these people on there and we think they have their shit together and they're super confident but i tell you now majority of us and a majority of them online we do tend to get really bad imposter syndrome and we all get nervous we get nervous for events like i've met so many people who have huge followings and have these huge opportunities and even they also get a lot of social anxiety and stuff like that so it's been really helpful for me i guess to see that side as well i haven't always been the most confident human i'm gonna go into this podcast now and yeah so we're basically in this podcast with mal we're talking about like balancing motherhood and business and things like that i will be sharing my thoughts on the topic and i guess how i balance everything what i am going to say in the podcast is i actually don't believe in you can get true balance ever because i always feel like no matter what you're doing in your life there's always going to be one part of your life that needs you more than the other whether that is your kids or maybe you've got something going on at work or your health or your family like there's always something that is going to need more of your attention at times so i think for us striving to try to get true balance is absolute bullshit to be completely honest and it's something that i've always tried to get and it's only been until recently i've been like no it's just not possible and i I think we're all chasing the unattainable with it and I think we just need to, it's all about giving ourselves grace for when we are in these seasons where we do need to be focusing on the kids more or our health more or work or whatever it is and not beat ourselves up about it and thinking that everyone else on the planet has balance when none of us do, unless you're maybe the Kardashians because you've got a million nannies or something. <laughs> and even then they, they wouldn't have balance either. Maybe I should get Ryan on the podcast instead. No balance here, mate. Ryan's got lots of... <laughs> <laughs> Can't even stand on my own two legs. Oh god! You mean your feet? That's Sit it. on your own two feet is what the saying is, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. God, we're a smart couple. The podcast starts very soon, and I'm just quickly running through the questions. I don't always like kind of prep for podcasts, but again, I haven't been on one for a while, and I get in my own head a lot. So sometimes when you do a podcast, I'll send you the questions, and sometimes they don't. I do like to kind of sometimes ask like if there's any certain topics and that like we get the topic but like certain questions if there's anything like that i feel like i could pro provide more value on especially with like tips and tricks with like productivity or like routines especially some with adhd and stuff like that and just feeling overwhelmed with life in general yeah a lot of these are about like yeah balancing and how to like some strategies on how to get through so what i'm just doing i'm like copy pasting the questions and then i'm just like putting some dot points underneath or just like reading through it and kind of like thinking about the answers in my head a little bit Coming. Why do people not Why do, no talk so loud on the phone? Yeah, won't know to sort of look up in that gap and hopefully you can see it. He just yells nuts. Side? Literally yells this guy, honestly. Yelling yeah, okay, all the way so, to bloody New South Wales. Um, oh. Alright, see you buddy. Right, you, you yell. You know do I? I? Yeah. yeah. Oh my god. He gets home, especially because I know he's like been at work all day with like his tools and shit. And he's just like, he's right next to me, he's like, hello Steph! And he's like yelling at me. 
You no, still, you still don't hear me. It's because I'm busy. It's because when I'm focusing, I, I don't hear anything. This is cute. This is a cool setup, huh? Mm. I need to start doing my podcast in studios. Oh, look, there's like a little car. Not for me. Maybe. I love how it's really chill as well. So this is called, what is it called? I want a guest today. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool here. We're also talking, um, as I said, Amel owns Equolution, which is a Ryan and I both used for years for macro tracking and stuff, and it really helped me get out of some bad habits that I took on from my bikini comp days. Yeah, it really taught me a lot about how you can literally eat whatever you want, and it's just within like moderation and stuff like that. It really helped me kind of get out of those really bad like eating and thought habits. patterns. Yeah, so, and Ryan learned a lot too, so. Yeah, so she's the owner of that. Here is the lady of the hour, Amal. Thank you so much for having me on the podcast. Oh no, thank you for joining me. We just had me. like a really long chat. I know. We're literally like the same. <laughs> Spirit animals. <laughs> so yes, I'm very excited to get cracking. Let's do it. I think it just reminded me that I do need to just take a moment. And I finally did it. So I started the blog, which was the actual like, website, you know, Weekly Hello guys, it is a new day and I'm just at the warehouse and yes, I'm in the passenger seat because I was going to start filming before I went inside and it's raining. So now I'm just sitting in my passenger seat like a weirdo. Anyways, I've got a huge day today. Usually I like to batch all my meetings and stuff into one day because I feel like otherwise you kind of get in the zone and then you interrupted by meetings all the time so this morning i've got an interview with a potential new staff member for social media because i've been doing all our socials again uh, which has been amazing because i didn't realize how i feel like i've been feeling disconnected from spp not in sense of the products but i guess in the sense of our socials and community because i haven't been doing our content for years and i think that's how i connect with you guys so that's been really really good and i've enjoyed it but i just really need some help anyway so i'm going to bring you along for a bit of a behind the scenes day at work i won't show you the interview obviously i'll scare the poor girl but yeah show you what we're up to it's full on planner season right now i'm moving house just everything is just crazy i also haven't really given you guys much of a warehouse tour so i might give you like a little warehouse house tour as well. I'll show you the unedited version of this meeting. It's hectic. about to do a product weekly meeting to talk about all the things that's coming out and planners and all the exciting stuff. Quality is up first. Worst vlogger. I was supposed to vlog today and I forgot most of it. I did say this morning I was going to be out of here at one and now it's five. <laughs> oh, and I've just done a marketing meeting, haven't we? Our brains are fried. <laughs> we don't know what's going on anymore. And um, what was the thing, the weird thing you said? Oh, we're trying to come up with some concepts. And categories said, of to do lists. Yeah, and what did you say? Rabbits. <laughs> rabbits was my category of things to, to do. Wash the rabbit. I don't even rabbits. have a rabbit. rabbit. <laughs> Rabbit. But, but yeah, so like this colour is like really nice compared to this colour. Like it's an absolute perfect so match nice. with the pen. So yeah, I'm gonna get Jason to make these up. And it. Feel it. So we call it plan a season. This is yeah. why. Feel it. It feels good. So nice. It makes me happy. Oh, it's plain, guys. You're gonna lose your shit. Yeah, it's not even the colour I normally get, but it's I, so nice. It's perfect in this little bound book. It isn't it the prettiest? Because it looks the most um vintage. Yeah. I'm obsessed. I need to go home and start packing up my house. So I came back to my desk and there's literally, apparently everyone at SVP is having a birthday. In go the next, Leo. <laughs> what'd you say? Go Leo. <laughs> literally, and it was Ryan's birthday yesterday. And I have to fill out all these cards. It's gonna be another hour here. I'm about to go home, but I'll quickly show you. This is our work uh, bathroom. It literally looks like a school one and I can't wait to eventually like paint it and do it all up. And behind there's a trough but she's a def definitely a fixer-upper. This actually used to be an old mechanics place and I also need to like fix up the kitchen. This is where we do meetings and we also have like lunch and stuff. And we finally got a big screen for when we do meetings, which is awesome. She's, she's got a lot of character, guys, and I really, <laughs> I can't wait eventually to hopefully actually build more offices so oh, it's a bit dark at the moment it's like 5 30 but here's where all our house stuff is that is literally going to be moved this week hopefully tomorrow is literally my last day 
living at the, at the unit and then we move, which is so exciting. I just can't believe it. You know, we've been building this house for two and a half years now and it never felt like I was ever going to live in it. And now we're moving. We have no bench top and bath and stuff like that but lucky Ryan's builder we actually had a I posted on Instagram yesterday that we're moving and a lot of people were asking like why are you moving into an unfinished house and it's a because Ryan's builder and we want to get out of the unit and also B the unit has been sold so we had to get out anyway which was lucky we had the house yes this is where we pack everything it's just crazy to think guys that this business was in my garage five years ago we literally just celebrated we're well, still celebrating SVP's birthday five years and I literally did it because I just wanted to do it on the weekends because I've really been I was dying to have a planner that had everything that I needed and I could not find anything and I made it and it just the rest is history it's just bizarre and I'm just so grateful like I'm so grateful for you guys even though it's been crazy it is it's genuinely worth it and everyone that works here at SVP we're all just so passionate and we all just help each other and it's just beautiful. Anyway, legends, I'm going to head home and I need to put the kids to bed and start packing. And the next time you see me, I'll be living in the new house. The next vlog will be uh, probably a moving vlog, most likely. So I'll be bringing you along to help me pack, get into the new house. And I'm just so excited to get back into like home decor and decorating and stuff like that. A lot of our furniture is actually just from Mocha, which is a great company and they're like really affordable, as cheap as Ikea, but very old. They're actually quite old now and um, we will be like getting new stuff. And yeah, the girls will finally have their own rooms. So they're not gonna kill each other because they share, they're on the bunk bed and they bloody go at each other so hard and they just want their own space. But I do feel like they'll be doing lots of sleepovers because they're gonna have a double bed each, which is wild because I didn't get a double bed till I literally Ryan and I got together. 17. Anyways, I love you guys and I'll see you on Monday when we're in the new house together. Bye!